Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel Codis Arcade. Guys, 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 this is a very important news for all of you. I am really thankful to all of you because we have reached a new milestone because of you guys. We have already reached 20,000 subscribers in our channel and that has only been possible because you guys have been supporting us a lot. Thanks a lot guys and I request all of you to keep supporting us more and more and with that I am today going to share a very important news for you guys that I am going to bring the latest Java playlist where we will be covering only interview questions that have been asked in top MNCs okay. So this will be a dedicated playlist for Java interview questions, the coding round questions that can be asked in any interview. Okay, so for freshers or experience, it doesn't matter. This question can be asked in any common interviews. Okay, so we'll be covering up everything here. And before that, again, I will tell you if you guys are new to the channel, please go and subscribe to our channel and also hit the bell icon because that will help you to get notifications regarding the latest updates. And thank you once again, guys. Thank you for making us reach 20,000 subscribers. And I hope this will go on. This is just the beginning. Thanks a lot, guys. So without any more ado, as I said, I will start with the new Java playlist where we'll be solving the first question today. And today's question will be checking whether an array has unique elements. OK, so let's get started. As I said, I will go to my IDE. This is my ID and here I will just create a new project. Let me just say Java interview questions. And let me not change anything here. I'll just say create. OK, and I don't need this main file, so I'll delete this. And let me just create a new package called com dot interview okay and let me go to my desktop and let me just do one thing let me close this previous project here i have a word document where i will be creating all the questions for you and we'll be solving them live in the classes only okay so here is the first question that you see unique elements okay the question says write a java function to determine if all elements in an array are unique okay the function should return true if all elements are distinct and false otherwise. So it's a very simple question, but sometimes we get confused how to do it in a very efficient manner. OK, so I'll be showing you how you can do it in an efficient manner. So for that, let us go back again to our IntelliJ ID and here I will just say. Problem statement. One. And. For this. As we had the idea, let me create my main function and here I will just say I have an array. One is equal to say here I have unique elements one, two, three, four, five. OK, and let me just zoom it a little bit so that it's easy for you to view. Let's take one more array. Here are two is equal to one two three four one so this array does not have unique elements fine now let's create a function say public static boolean because if you see here it says i have to return true or false okay so if the elements are unique i have to return true otherwise false so i'll just say all elements are unique this can be the name of the function right and it will take an integer array and then it will either return true or false. So for that, what we can do is we can use an hash set. Because an hash set only accepts unique elements. So this can be a very efficient way, to, way of doing it. OK, so the hash set belongs to the Java dot Java .util collection or the package. So I'll say hash set. You can see it belongs to Java dot util. And because we are dealing with integers, I will take the wrapper class integer here. I'll say numbers is equal to new hash it. And in the earlier versions of Java, you had to write integer here as well. OK, but nowadays it is not mandatory because you can see it has been grayed out. So you don't have to worry about this. OK, now. I just have to iterate over my arrays. OK, so it will take only a single array. So what we'll do, I will just use a for each loop or the enhance for loop for I will say int element inside our array. 
so if we are not able to insert the element into the hash set then i will return false understood because a hash set only contains unique elements okay fine so my condition should be like this if there is a built in function in our hash set called add so numbers dot add i will add our element from the loop variable okay so here it is actually adding so i don't want to add i just want to check if the element is not added then i will return false make sense and if after doing this if it is able to insert all the elements into the hash set then that means all the elements are unique in the array right so what i will do i will return true make sense so i will just say all elements in the array are unique understood so if i am successfully adding all the elements then i am returning true otherwise i will be returning false correct so that's it about it so now let us just give the function call and try to analyze if this is working or not so i will say s out all elements in arr1 are unique and let me just copy the same thing and do it for the second array as well paste here i will just say arr2 and then i will just call the function call my function and pass my arr1 similarly here also i'll just call my function by using concatenation and pass arr2 okay and it will return true or false so for the first one the output should be true small letter and here the output should be false because here we don't have unique elements one has been repeated so they are not unique right so let's run this and check if this is working or not see guys all elements in arr1 are unique it is true that means all the elements are unique and in the second one you can see all elements in arr2 are unique which is false got it so this is a very efficient way of doing it by using the hash set from the java.util package okay the java.util package is a package of all the collections in the java programming language okay guys if you want to learn more concepts like this please subscribe to our channel i'll be bringing every week a new new question from the coding round interviews asked in many multiple uh, mncs regarding the java programming language okay and guys if you have liked this please don't forget to hit the bell icon and also like and share our channel because that will really help you to get notified about the latest updates okay and at the same time if you have any doubts if you did not understand even a single line then please don't hesitate to put your doubts into the comment section because i will read them i will literally read them and i'll get back to you don't have to worry about that okay so this is sort of signing off with this question in the next one i will bring up a new question for you from the java coding interview series okay thanks for watching till the next time this is sort of signing off bye bye and happy learning